Let's make this cool looping animation in Blender. I don't know if it's cool, but let's make this. Open a fresh Blender file. Press A to select, and X to delete everything. Mesh Cylinder Click here, and change this to nothing. Increase the vertices. Press R, Y, and type 90 to rotate the cylinder, in the Y axis. Then, press X, 7, to scale it 7 times on the X axis. Now we have the loop. Let's start shading. Go to the shading tab, and click new for a new material. Before continuing, go to edit, preferences, add-ons, and search for node wrangler, and enable the node wrangler. Now, select the principled BSDF node, and press shift S, and switch it to emission. Add color ramp. Connect color to the color. Now, add a noise texture. And connect the factor into the factor. Change linear to constant for sharp texture. Adjust the white color to the center. Now, turn the detail up, and play with the roughness and scale. Now, the texture is like stretched out. To fix this, press Ctrl A and apply all transforms. After that, select noise texture, and press Ctrl, T. This will add a texture coordinate node, and a mapping node. Now, connect the object, to the vector of the mapping node. Now, the texture is no more stretched. Press Shift A, and add in our camera. Go to the front view, and press, Ctrl Alt 0, to snap the camera to the view. Now, make sure your camera is selected, and click this green camera icon, and change the camera's focal length to, 10, in the properties tab. Then, press the yellow square, and change the location X to, 7. and enable bloom and motion blur. Increase the emission strength a little bit, and change the white to a blue color. Click the plus icon, it will add a black color. Move this to the other side. Add another color, and change it to red. Now, make the red, blue and black colors close to each other. I am typing in numbers for a more precise adjustion. Now we have thin lines of blue and red colors. Reduce the scale of noise texture according to your wish. Shading is finished.
and let's add our fog, for a nice fade inside the cylinder. Press Shift, A, add a cube. And now it blocks our view. So, make sure the cube is selected, and press the yellow square icon, go to viewport display and change texture to wire. Press the principal BSDF, and click remove. By doing this, the principled BSDF will be removed, from the surface of the object. We need the volume material, in the volume of the cube. So, press the volume drop down, and click none, and change it to principled volume. Reduce the bloom intensity a little bit. And now we can start animating our camera. With 24 FPS, I need a 7 second single loop. So, click the end, and type 24, star, 7. This will multiply 24 with 7. Now, go to the side view and enable wireframe view. Now move the camera's x-axis to 7 to the end of the cylinder. Go to the first frame in the timeline and press the keyframe icon next to the x location. Now go to the other end of the timeline and type in minus 7 and click the keyframe icon. Make sure your mouse cursor is in the timeline and select both keyframes by pressing A, press T in the timeline and select linear. This will change the keyframe interpolation to linear. And let's check if it's a perfect loop. Yes it is. To avoid a duplicate frame, reduce the end by one frame. Press the printer icon. Press Ctrl S to save your file. In the output drop down menu, click the folder icon and select your output folder. Change file format to FFmpeg video. Change the output quality to perceptually lossless and now you can render your animation. Press render, and render animation. After you have finished your rendering, click this plus icon, video editing, video editing. Make sure your timeline is in the first frame, add, movie, and select the animation. This will add the movie strip. Now, select the movie strip and, Shift, D, to duplicate this, and move this to the right side of the first strip. Hold Shift for more precise movement. Press Shift R to repeat the duplication. Duplicate as much as you want. Now, change this file browser to Timeline, Change the end frame to the end of the movie clips. Now, click this folder icon here and select the location. Make sure that it is MPEG4 and render your animation. So, that's it. Thanks for watching, and subscribe if you are new.